What if I told you Samsung Galaxy already has features so powerful that once you start using them, you'll seriously wonder how you ever lived without them. In today's video, we're diving deep into One UI 8.0, uncovering hidden multitasking tricks, smart privacy hacks, camera features, and everyday shortcuts that can completely change how you use your phone. So some of these features are so underrated that even longtime Samsung users don't know they exist. I've also set a challenge of 300 likes on this video. So if you find even one tip useful, please smash that like button. It genuinely helps this channel grow more than you know. And make sure to stick around till the end because I'm running a giveaway and I'll clearly explain exactly how to enter later in this video. All right, let's jump right into it. So feature number one is where you can swap apps position in 50-50 split mode on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let's say as an example, you're watching YouTube tutorial on the top half of the screen while taking notes in the Samsung notes below. Suddenly you want your notes at the top for easier typing. Instead of closing everything, you just go ahead and swap the apps instantly. So here is an example. I have YouTube here at the top while I have notes at the bottom. However, let's say I want to go ahead and open notes here at the top and I want to go ahead and move YouTube to down. So you would think the only way to do this is to press home and go ahead and do your setup again. So with One UI 8.0, Samsung has made split screen multitasking even better. So when you're using 50-50 split screen mode, you can now instantly swap the position of the two apps without closing or restarting them. So I'll go ahead and show you this. So as you can see, you have YouTube at the top, Samsung Notes at the bottom. To swap their position, just go ahead and tap on the center here, then go ahead and tap on these two arrows pointing on the opposite direction. As you do this, you'll see that your notes come to the top while your YouTube moves over to the bottom. So like this, you can go ahead and swap them around and choose what you want to the top and what you want at the bottom. So this saves time, keeps your workflow smooth, avoids any interruption and makes split screen multitasking actually enjoyable. So this is perfect for students, professionals and content creators. Now feature number two is where you have the secret trick to access apps hidden from the home screen. So you want to hide a banking app, a private note app, or even a social media app during work hours, to anyone else using your phone, the app looks completely gone, but you can still access it. So this one is one of the best hidden privacy tricks on Samsung Galaxy phone. You can add an app to the Edge panel, then hide that app from both your home screen and your app drawer. After that, you can make your Edge panel invisible, meaning only you know where to swipe to access it. So here's an example. I have my Monzo bank account. I wanna go ahead and hide this completely and I only want to access it through the edge panel. So to do this, first I'll go ahead and add it to my edge panel. So here I've added it to my edge panel. Next, I'll go ahead and long press on my home screen, tap on settings. Now I wanna go ahead and scroll down and I wanna go ahead and hide apps from home and app screen. Here I'll go ahead and choose that Monzo bank account. Monzo. Now I'll press done. Now press home. And now as you can see, that bank tab has been hidden from the home screen and from your app drawer as well. So now to access this on my edge panel, I can go ahead and open my edge panel and go ahead and access it. However, this edge panel is still visible. So to make this invisible, you wanna go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find display, scroll down and find edge panel. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find handle. And now here you wanna go ahead and make the transparency high size small and the width thin. Now press home. And now as you can see, your edge panel has disappeared. So now you only know where this edge panel is. I know that it's just right next to my side button here. So if I go ahead and swipe like this, my edge panel will open up. If I swipe like this, this won't open up my edge panel or here, this won't open my edge panel. The only place where this is gonna open is from here. And now from here, I can go ahead and access my Monzo bank account. So you have extra privacy without third-party apps. It's a cleaner home screen, faster access to your hidden apps, and you have full control over your personal data. Now, feature number three is where you can add paired apps to your home screen. So as an example, you're using WhatsApp and Google Maps while traveling. Maybe use YouTube and Samsung Notes together while studying, or maybe Chrome and Calculator for work and shopping. Now you wanna go ahead and make sure that you open these two apps together in split screen mode. So One UI 8.0 allows you to pair two apps together and add them directly to your home screen. With one tap, both apps open together in split screen mode. So here is an example. We'll open up our last example where we have Samsung Notes and we have YouTube. So let's say I wanna go ahead and open this in one tap. 
So to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on the middle section here, tap on the star, and now I can go ahead and add a pair to my home screen or my app's edge panel. I'll go ahead and add it to my home screen. Now if I press home, let's go ahead and find the pair. So as you can see, it's right here, notes and YouTube. So if I go ahead and open it, this will open up notes at the top, and this will open up YouTube at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try it out with the calling app and, and TikTok. So I'll go ahead and open up the recent app, open this in split screen, and go ahead and choose phone. So now as you can see, this is two apps. Now I'll go ahead and make this as a pair app. Press home. And now as you can see, TikTok and phone will open together. So if I close everything, go ahead and open this. You'll see that TikTok is opening at the top and your phone app is opening at the bottom. So this is a massive time saver, faster multitasking, perfect for daily routines and a serious productivity boost. Feature number four is your T9 dialing where you can call contacts by typing the name on the keypad. So you're in a rush or using one hand, you can just go ahead and type M-O-M -M or maybe J-O-H-N, John, using the keypad and the call appears instantly. So this basically shows you the contact. So with T9 dialing, you can call someone just by typing their name on the number keypad, knowing to scroll through contacts or remember phone numbers. So here, if I go ahead and open up phone, let's say I wanna go ahead and dial my Simple Dad iPhone mobile. So I can go ahead and start typing the simple. So simple would be seven, four, six, seven again, five, and three. So here I'll show you. And there you go, the simple dad iPhone. So like this, by just dialing a number, I'm basically getting contacts. Let's go ahead and try MOM. And this basically gives me my mom's number. So this way you have faster calling, safer while driving, and it's great for emergencies and incredibly useful for everyday use. Now feature number five is where you can take live photos on Samsung using motion photos. So you take a photo of your pet or a child, but they blink or move. So instead of retaking the photo, you simply select the best frame using motion photos or live photos. So Samsung's motion photos work like live photos, capturing moments before and after the picture is taken. So you can scroll through frames and save the perfect shot. So here we'll go ahead and open up the camera app. And let's go ahead and turn on motion photo. So you need to go ahead and find this icon here, a square with the play button inside. So when I go ahead and tap on this, this will basically tell me motion photo is off. To switch it on, make sure it's yellow and it'll basically tell you it's on. So now I can go ahead and take a photo. I have something moving there. Now here, this will basically take a photo and to view one second before this and one second after this, go ahead and tap on that photo and you'll be able to see this motion photo here. So this is three second video, which it has taken for you. One second before, one second at the time of your shutter and one second right after you've tapped the shutter. So here you can go ahead and choose your perfect shot. So if you're taking a picture of a person, he or she may have blinked their eyes. You can go ahead and capture the perfect moment where the eyes are open and you can go ahead and grab that photo. So this way you never miss the perfect moment. You capture natural expressions and you create the better memories with less effort. Now feature number six is your pop-up view for notifications. So you're watching Netflix or YouTube and a WhatsApp message comes in you reply instantly without pausing or closing your video. So here I'm watching WhatsApp on my phone. A notification comes up here at the top like this. Now, if I go ahead and tap on this, this will basically open in full screen mode. So pop-up view allows notification to open in a small floating window, which lets you reply or interact without leaving your current app. So here we can go ahead and open this notification in a pop-up view. So let's say again, I'm watching this, a notification appears. I can go ahead and look at that notification, go ahead and drag that in the center. This opens in pop-up view. So that video is still being played. As you can see, it's still moving. I can go ahead and start replying and then go ahead and close this off and continue watching my video in the background. So no interruption, smoother multitasking. You get faster replies and a much better overall experience. Now, lastly, feature number seven is your photo ambient feature. So your phone is sitting on your desk showing a photo. As the lighting changes throughout the day, the image blends perfectly with the environment. So if it's raining outside, it'll show you rain. If it's snowing outside, it'll show you snow. 
So photo ambient mode, subtly adjust photo based on lighting and the surrounding, making your image feel more immersive and natural. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first long press on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. We'll go and tap on change wallpaper. Now we'll go and scroll down and we'll tap on photo ambient. So we'll go ahead and choose a wallpaper. Now to see this work, if I press play, this will now show you a demo. So say for example, it's raining like this. So you can see that it's basically showing you some raindrops. This is showing you some snow. And if you're happy with that, press done. And then press home. Now when you go ahead and look at your wallpaper, you'll notice that if it snows outside or it rains outside, you'll see that effect right on your wallpaper. Since it's not snowing or raining here, basically showing me nothing. So you get a premium visual experience, photos that feel alive, and it's a polished look for your lock screen or your always on display. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate every single one of you. Now, as promised, here's how to enter the giveaway for your Samsung Galaxy grip case. So the first thing is you need to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and fill in the giveaway form linked below. That's it, it's that simple. So the winner will be announced on the 26th of December, 2025. So make sure you have subscribed so you don't miss it. I've also set a 300 like challenge on this video. So if you found any of these One UI 8.0 tips useful, please smash that like button, drop a comment with your favorite feature and subscribe for more Samsung tips and hidden features. Your likes truly help this channel grow and I honestly cannot thank you enough. So this giveaway is my way of giving back to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.